Adam and Ian and I were had stumbled into this little tent city um, and we were trying to just look for somebody to talk to and it just felt like a kind of a divine appointment. We ended up running into a pastor, a dislocated pastor who was living in a, a tent the size of a refrigerator box, really. I mean, it was so, so tiny. He and his wife and uh, daughter, I think it was. We talked with him for a long time, heard his story and, and lots of other stuff. While we were there, uh, probably 25, 35, 45 people gathered around us and were listening and uh, it was a wonderful conversation, but then we had this um, idea that it would be fun to ask them to shoot a little video uh, for everybody in the States to have them stand together and say in English, uh, we need help. We realized, we remembered as we were leaving that we had uh, a bunch of giant bags filled with little bags of water in the truck and um, some bread. So we had already left and said goodbye, but we were able to bring the truck, drive it back down there. And hey, uh, tell them that we're going right and then to the, to the left right there. Yeah, right down here. Right, right here, Clint, stop. Stop. Right here. Yeah. We, 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 uh, we have water. You can't do it. But we don't want to have a, a riot going on here you to get, get it. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that you would suggest that we um, give out some water without uh, it becoming a situation that's desperate? It's not a problem. We can give it to them. Okay. 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 We spent almost all night uh, advocating for, for them uh, with social media and stuff and we got there and early nothing had changed. So uh, rather than just walk away, uh, we felt like seriously compelled that we needed to change our plans uh, for the afternoon and to meet the need. Today uh, we took $2,000 of funds that have been collected through the Haiti Relief Fund through Adventures and Missions and we were able to buy a pickup load of rice and beans and oil. Um, the, the place that we went in and, and purchased the goods from, we bought absolutely all of their formula, all of their, their baby milk, and we took that in and we were able to distribute it to um, both of these villages. So we pulled in with this pickup truck full of rice and beans and oil and baby uh, formula. And we're uh, getting the rest of the committee here because we want to um, make sure they all understand both uh, the fact that we've gotten their um, their community registered with the UN and the NGOs that are staging aid. They weren't on anybody's radar. Nobody knew they existed here. So we uh, we weeded through some bureaucracy and red tape at the airport and figured out how to um, get some more long-term help. And then we also want the committee to be here so that we can explain together the food we've brought for some immediate relief today um, and talk to them how, about you know, how we want them to be fair in the distribution of that and that we trust them for that. So we're waiting for the committee, the village committee, to come together. And we met with the committee and kind of uh, reviewed with them how we didn't want to develop dependency, but we realized they had some really critical need. We talked about the hope that we had that some help was going to come from the UN and other NGOs that we had met with at the airport. And then we, um, we explained that we'd had this food and we wanted to bring it to them uh, and trust the committee to be fair in how they handed it out, specifically taking care of the widows and the orphans. And Again, they were moved and they uh, gave us all kinds of assurances. We formed this chain of people and we all offloaded the food into a kind of a safe place where they'd kind of watch it. No. 
And then we prayed together and uh, prayed for the committee, prayed for the community, and uh, one of their pastors prayed for us. Very moving time. Um, and then we loaded up and went over to the next door, little village area, and repeated the whole process again. It was really amazing. I felt like we were able to be, like we were players in the answer to our own prayer um, and the prayers of so many of our friends. Uh, in the states as, as we had so many people activated last night online uh, involved in uh, praying and trying to respond to this particular crisis in this village um, and then we got the blessing of being players in how God answered that prayer. A, a community that was forgotten, that was unknown yesterday, is now known. They have supplies and food, and, and they're on their way of being restored. And it's an amazing, amazing experience. And I'm just so, so thankful and, and hopeful. And I don't know, God was just so faithful. And um, that just gets me so excited.